Dick Morris, you and I have a history with Dick Morris, mostly you. Dick Morris was on the Young Turk show uh, some years ago, and he got up and walked out in the middle of the interview. Yep. It was good stuff. You um, uh, irritated him um, by uh, sort of challenging him when he claimed to be the smartest person in the history of the world, and essentially said <laughs> that Hillary Clinton was part of some giant left-wing feminist cabal, and I think was prepared to suggest that she murdered Vince Foster. I mean, that was, that's how much this guy hates Hillary Clinton. I'm gonna guess, I'm just totally making this up now, I have no idea, but I'm gonna guess Hillary Clinton was like, look, I don't care how many women you sleep with, you're gonna fire this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> to Bill, uh, uh, she. I mean, they they did not get along. Yeah, and God bless Hillary. Nothing makes me happier about Hillary than her not getting along with Dick Morris. And, and part of the fight was about the Iraq War, uh, and uh, how I thought that was a bad idea. He thought it was a brilliant idea. And who came out ahead on that one? Yeah, <laughs> I so guess he got the better of me on that, right, Dick? Dick Morris <laughs> is. I guess he has done some smart things in his life. Uh -huh. But this guy takes credit for everything. I mean, I have not met a bigger blowhard in my life than Dick Morris, a guy more in love with his own opinions and how smart and thoughtful he is. I mean, I really, you know, I was making fun of it at the time, but I was like, Dick Morris is gonna say, look man, George Washington was timid, he had bad false wooden teeth, he was afraid, and I told him, you get in that boat, you cross that Delaware. It will, <laughs> it will work out for you. I mean, the guy, he took credit for everything, and so anyway, uh, but again, somehow we still think of him as some sort of genius. Uh, so uh, Michael Schur, uh, epic politics man, found a couple of uh, Dick Morris uh, tweets from August. Uh, right? That's gotta be good. These are good, so we'll just begin. We're gonna go in order with uh, graphic one here. Here's the first Dick Morris tweet from August. Uh, when the story is written about this election, the concept that Romney established dominance will be dated as the end of the conventions. That's when Romney is gonna be dominant. You nailed it again, Dick. Number two, once Romney gains a lead from the convention, I don't think he's gonna relinquish it. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong again, Dick. Move right to graphic three. Romney is going to have a great convention. It's gonna be incredible. <laughs> he should gain a five or six point lead. <laughs> he is on fire. <laughs> graphic four. The convention will give Romney big bounce. Dick Morris TV lunch alert. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> <laughs> it does. I think it means he's out to lunch. <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, Dick Morris has had a lot of lunches. Finally, graphic five. I don't think the Democrats will gain in the polls from their convention. <laughs> <laughs> this dick is on fire. Now, just humor me on this. Humor me on this. Bring us back uh, real quick, Casey, just for a second. So the, uh, um, let's run those really quick again, and we'll just change one word. Okay. All right, so, number one. When the story is written about this election, the concept that Obama established dominance will be dated as the end of the conventions. Number two, once Obama gains a lead from the convention, I don't think he's gonna relinquish it. Number three, Obama's gonna have a great convention. It's gonna be incredible. He should gain a five or six point lead. Number four, the convention will give Obama a big bounce. Dick Morris TV lunch alert. <laughs> and the final one, I don't think the Democrats will gain, I don't think the Republicans uh, will gain in the polls from their convention. So one simple word, and Dick Morris is in fact a genius. It's amazing, because he was 100% wrong. That's right, that's right. <laughs> exactly wrong. If Obama wins, he will be, <laughs> which again, about the, you know, the markets will tell you it's 80, about 75 to 85%. Right, and of course we based on, on polls that just came out saying that Obama got at least a five or six point bounce the exact opposite of what Dick Morris predicted. Nicely done again, Dick.